All right, Al Sims back with the comments for another season. And Al, first off, hey, tell me a little bit about why you decided to come back with the comments and uh, what kind of sense it makes for you, especially coming off a championship. Well, I think. Uh, you know, this is uh, where I make my home. Uh, my wife loves uh, loves it here in Fort Wayne. So do my kids. Uh, I love it here in Fort Wayne. I love working for the Franke family. I think the one thing uh, that's very attractive about this job, not only to me but to every coach in hockey would, who would love to coach here, is that the Franke family gives you a chance to win a championship every year. And uh, um, you know, they know that uh, that's my my mo as I go after championships uh, every season. And we certainly set the bar high here after the last five years and you know we're hoping to uh, this is uh, the last cup I haven't won in double-a hockey and it's the ECHL Cup and you know we're hoping to uh, uh, put along a, a hard a uh, lot of hard work into this summer and uh, you know uh, get a team uh, going like we did last summer that uh, you know can challenge for a cup at the end of the year what kind of challenges do the ECA does the ECHL present uh, for you especially trying to win another championship here in Fort Wayne well, I think it's a you know you're going to have younger players. There's only four veterans, not six, and you're going to have two uh, young kids filling those two vet spots. And uh, like Brian said, most of the guys are first one, first year to third year guys. And uh, you know we're a lot of John Michael Riss and Stefan Thorns and uh, Chris Ogers and people like that are the kind of people we're looking for to to fill spots on this team. And uh, you know we may have seven to ten players back from last year's team, but uh, you know that leaves half a team to fill. And you know it's probably going to be filled with mostly young players. What are the next couple of months like for you as you guys try to assemble this team? And you, I know you're getting a first-hand look at what the ECHL Championship Series looks like. Yeah, I'll be going down Monday and checking out Florida and, and Las Vegas and getting a good idea of, uh, you know, any major differences between the leagues. I don't think there will be a lot, but, uh, you know, whatever I can see uh, will help us in the recruitment process. And then uh, coming home to recruit, I think uh, we'll look at our league first. We know those, those players the best out of the CHL and uh, the young players in the CHL who did really well this season. And, uh, you know, we'll start uh, making phone calls uh, right away. And uh, uh, then we'll be talking to agents, uh, OHL, Western Hockey League, and Quebec junior league and then all the colleges and uh, uh, it takes about three four months to get a hold of everybody appreciate it all right thank you very much